Hello. Thank you for joining us for part two of the JTAG Live introduction. During this session, we will examine the boundary scan test possibilities that the free Buzz utility can offer. To download your own copy of Buzz, simply visit www.jtaglive.com and register your details. In part one, we tested the basic scan chain infrastructure of our design. With that verified, we can now use Buzz to activate the boundary scan devices into the X-test and sample modes for more exacting tests. The screen now displayed is the main Buzz window that can be opened by clicking the Buzz icon here. On the left hand side you'll see a list of the boundary scan compliant devices for this design. Expanding one of those devices shows a list of pins which can be ordered in their numerical listing. The pin colours represent green for boundary scan device pins, red for power pins, yellow for tap signal pins and blue for linkage bits which have no boundary scan capability. Use the cursor to click and drag a desired pin to the appropriate window. In the main buzz window we have four sub-windows watch, buzz, measure and constraints. The watch window allows us to activate a pin in the boundary scan sample mode. Clicking on the watch icon starts the sampling process and as we can see the default value for this pin is currently a logic zero. However, if we apply an external stimulus you'll see that we can sample different values on the pin for example as you would with a free running clock. Sample mode is also useful for checking a pin is stuck at low or stuck at high against its normal operating conditions. In the buzz window you can perform a continuity check as you would with a digital multimeter. Simply drag and drop the pins again into the driver window on the left hand side or the sensor window on the right hand side. Clicking the buzz icon starts the process and a green marker and a positive tone shows we have a correct connection. If we select an incorrect pin pair and perform the measurement again, we get the red marker and the negative tone. Below the buzz window we have the measure window which allows you to test multiple pin pairs, up to 10 in total. For each pin driver we can select a 0, 1 or high impedance state. And if we run the measure window, in this case you'll see that the sense signals are the same as the drivers. If however a fault was implemented on the design and the measure is repeated, you'll notice a different set of results. In fact one of the pins there has a disparity from the driver and the sensor indicating there could be some kind of short circuit across two of the nets. In the final window, constraints at the bottom, you'll see two pins that are driving a constant value. This allows you to turn off devices or disable parts which might be sharing the same bus in the measure window above. In this instance we're disabling a memory and a flash device which has a common data bus with the measure window. Thank you for your attention so far. Please join us again for clip and script demos also in this section. Thank you.